Hey YouTubers, good morning, Rob Mavit. Actually, it's not morning, it's evening. And uh, it's uh, Friday the 13th, 2020. Happy Friday the 13th, 2020. <laughs> you know it's going to be a good day. Um, we're making something I've never made before today. Um, just going to be making a little, sort of like, kind of, some kind of a goulash. Um, never, never made this before. And uh, it's got... Uh, all vegetarian. It's going to be plant-based sausage Italian. I get this at Walmart. It's surprisingly pretty tasty um, and inexpensive. Yeah, I think there's four big sausages for like three ninety. So have celery diced up and some onions. Get these diced tomatoes that have green peppers and onions and celery. That's delicious. And my usual suspects when it comes to spices: some elbow macaroni and uh, maybe a little bit of bouillon, chicken bouillon. So that won't be vegetarian, but you can you can delete that and add something else if you like. But uh, I'm adding this because when I was a kid, my mom would make uh, goulash and she would make with, with chicken gumbo, Campbell's chicken gumbo in the big cans. I don't think they even manufacture it anymore. And add little pieces of a hamburger um, with big elbow macaroni and tomatoes and onions. And it was delicious. And a winter evening in Miami when it was like down to 75 degrees. <laughs> so... We're going to be making us a goulash today. By the way, we won't be adding any paprika. And you always have to have paprika in a goulash. But I don't use this very often. And, and it must be very old. It's kind of bitter and stale. So I'm not going to use it. It's not something I would want in my food. But I would want paprika, but not that one. So let's get started. You know, I make these videos because... Well, obviously I make them because I want you guys to come watch, don't I? But... I also make them primarily because one day I'll forget how I made these things and I can watch the video and see <laughs> how I made the, the darn thing. A little bit of oil. That's too much. But you know what? It's going to do. Okay, we'll put in our onions and celery sausage. We're just going to cook up the onions and celery to give them a little more flavor when we add them to the goulash. Alright, while that's cooking, we're going to add a cup of filtered water to pan. And when that boils, we'll add a half a cup of macaronis. These are the macaronis that I buy from the Mormons at the LDS site online. They come in number 10 cans. They're good for 30 years. Um, macaroni is a pretty good bargain. There's a decent amount of protein in it. They cook very quickly. Also, uh, I read some studies that they said that the macaroni and the pasta, after you cook it, it doesn't have a uh, big effect on your body as other uh, uh, grains flour and uh, potatoes and rice. They said the, the macaroni acts a little bit differently on your body. You don't get a rat rise in your insulin, your hypoglycemic levels and all that stuff. It's supposed to be a little better for you than uh, potatoes and rice. That might just be what the Italians want you to think. <laughs> you might as well go ahead and add a few spices to the water. Uh, a little bit of red pepper flakes. Some spices, when you boil them, they'll lose the potency, but some things like the bouillon and the red pepper, that's not going to matter. Just add one big teaspoon. And we'll leave the Italian seasoning and the garlic for later. Although, you can add parsley whenever you feel like it. <laughs> uh. Yeah, when I was a kid, I remember we used to live in this big coral rock house in Miami. And in the wintertime, when we'd get a cold front come through, we'd get a nice cool breeze. And we had window panes that would rattle and we'd sit there at dinner 
all quiet, listen to the wind rumble through the house. We had a big fireplace. It was an interesting house. They tore it down. Some of the other little houses are still there in the neighborhood. It had wooden shingles. It had copper screens on the windows. And like I said, coral rock. Now let's add the macaroni and That's at all the macaroni. The maid will clean that up. Now I'm just going to turn that off and Do I still have a lid for that one? Let me see. Yes, I do. I told you it was lucky today. So we turned off the one in the back. It's just going to cook on its own. So we didn't add a lot of water to the macaroni. It was just one cup of water and half a cup of macaroni. But we're going to be adding a lot of water into the diced, with the diced tomatoes. And we can add more liquid later if we want to. I kind of like a thick uh, goulash. I keep calling it goulash. It's it's a kind of a goulash. The people who really make real goulash would get upset when they're watching this because it's it's not the same as theirs. But it's uh, what I remember as goulash as a kid. It's it's kind of close. It's got macaronis and tomatoes. <laughs> it's a goulash. <laughs> now you want to put a lid on it part way through so it doesn't dry out on you. And I use a little higher heat than I would normally because I want to. Get a little bit of caramelization going. If you have the heat too low, it's just going to take forever. But I like cooking with low heat. Okay, let's let's see what the macaroni looked like. Macaroni take about eight to ten minutes. So these are ready to go. Double check here. Oh yeah, perfect. You don't want to overcook them and make them mushy. Now, put in our onions and celery and tofurkey, Italian sausages, a nice can of tomatoes. Oh yeah, now let's add some Italian seasoning. When you add the Italian seasoning, you want to let it sit for at least a half an hour to get all those flavors to come out and marry with the liquids and the other ingredients. You don't want to overpower to add too much. I'm going to add a little bit of garlic powder because we did add some parsley. So I, I always find if, if you add garlic and you put the parsley together, they go together really well. Otherwise, the garlic kind of overpowers everything. It's better for your breath too. Not that it matters nowadays with COVID what your breath smells like. <laughs> yeah. I was at the dermatologist the other day and everybody in the office was old. I guess I am too. And the, this guy came in. He looked like on the character of Simpsons. There's a mole man who has those really thick glasses and he always, he talks like this and he, why he shuffled up to the desk and the, the woman behind the desk said, have you been out of the country in the last six or eight weeks? He said, out of the country? I haven't been out of my house in eight months. <laughs> yeah. So you don't have to worry about garlic. It's a golden time for agoraphobics and people who don't like other people or <laughs> have bad breath. It's, nobody's going to know. And you don't have to leave the house. Now, because I have to prove that this is really Rob's homemade life, if we don't add olives, salad olives, you wouldn't, you know, you'd have to worry that 
maybe the Russians were involved and it really wasn't me. And I'm like, <laughs> uh. all righty. It's a little bit thick, but you can always add more liquid. Well, you can always take out more liquid too, but you know what I'm saying. No, we don't. <laughs> You're confusing as heck. <laughs> now, have we run out of anything else to add? Well, you know what? If you have real hamburger meat, you could add that. And uh, you could get some cheese out to put on top of the bowl when you're done. But uh, this is what it's looking like. Now, we're going to let that sit for an hour, half an hour. And let those flavors of the uh, Italian seasoning to marry with the other ingredients. And put this on ultra, ultra simmer. <laughs> Are you warm yet? Okay. And now I'll do a little cleaning up. And while that's, uh, that's still kind of high. How low can you go? Do, 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 Okay. Let's let that set for about a half an hour. We'll come back and have a little bowl of, uh, of goulash. It'll all be good. Okay, everybody. It's time for some, some goulash. Get some tomatoes in there. I was going to add some uh, mushrooms to these. I found mushrooms are supposed to be very helpful for uh, cognitive impairment. <laughs> I need all the help I can get. So this is what we're looking at. A little goulash for Friday the 13th to 2020. And uh, if there's something you're interested in, you might want to give it a try. I'm going to try it myself in just a second. The celery still has a little bit of a bite to it, a little firmness to it. The onions are well cooked. The red pepper has a little bit of a bite to it, not too much at all. The macaroons are perfect. They're not overdone. It's not too salty. Sausages have a nice texture considering it's vegetable. Hmm. The fact that some of the onions are chopped small and some are big and rough, it, it gives a hearty uh, texture. Hmm. Onions are cooked perfectly. And I'm very critical of my food. There's not a lot of t t a taste of tomato. Maybe I could add some tomato paste next time to boost a little tomato flavor. Let's get some of this juice here. It has the right thickness. It's not watery. It's not too thick. But the flavor, I think this needs to sit overnight and, and, and cook the next day. I think it'll have more of a flavor. It's still, it's still coming together. Maybe a little salt. Guys, this is not bad. Since I've never made this before, um, I'm kind of happy with it. So... Something like goulash, you might want to check it out. Hmm. Hmm. 
It's a good cracker. <laughs> it really is. Alright guys, I'll take care. Playing new videos every week. Been doing it for this many years. <laughs> five, five, and three. And got over 870 some videos now. Do videos every week. And can't help myself. And I got a bunch of cool people I feature on my channel too. You want to check them out. And a bunch of playlists. And I got one playlist just on videos on food recipes, things I've made and other people I like on, on the internet. Alright guys, I said it before, say it again. Thanks for watching. You'll come back. See you next week.